Hello everyone. This is a quick video to demonstrate the benefit of forward error correction, which was added in firmware 8.00. Here we have a HD4 MBX with a tunnel to a fusion hub over a simulated 35 meg WAN link, which is suffering with 1% packet loss. We will start by showing an FTP file copy over this link with a standard PEP VPN tunnel. The performance of this file copy is limited by the TCP stack on the server and client, which is having to cope with the packet loss. The packet loss the tunnel is seeing can be seen in the bottom right hand of the screen. The packet loss leads the client and server to determine that the link is congested and as such it slows the transmission of the packets. We will fast forward through now to show how long this file copy takes. So we can see that this 100 meg file copy took 10 minutes and 20 seconds to copy over this tunnel. Now we will enable forward error correction on the tunnel between these two devices. As the packet loss is in both directions and the file copy is TCP, we will enable this in both directions. If the requirement is one-way UDP traffic, then you would only need to enable this for the direction of the traffic. We will start by using the low setting on both sides. Enabling this setting will cause the tunnel to be recreated. As I'm RDP'd onto the remote PC over this tunnel, it will need to re-establish as well. Now the tunnel has re-established, I will now copy the same file again. This time you'll see that the file copy is far less limited by the packet loss. This is because forward error correction rebuilds the lost packets, reducing the number of retransmissions that need to be made by the client and server. Because the connection isn't perceived to be congested, the TCP stack on the client and server will be able to better utilise the available bandwidth. And as you can see, it is much faster than the previous attempt. With forward error correction enabled, the same file now copies in little over 30 seconds. I'll now show this with a larger 1GB file so as to better see the PEP VPN graph output and how it compares to the original file copy. The PEP VPN graph shows the throughput of the traffic in the tunnel, while the actual WAN usage will be higher due to the VPN and forward error correction overhead. You can see this on the dashboard of the device, where the total traffic stats are shown. You can also see the one throughput on the real-time usage report. On low, FEC adds around 13% extra traffic, and you can see this by comparing the WAN graph to the PEP VPN graph. In this case, the full capacity of the WAN link is being used, even though some of the packets are still being lost within the tunnel while on low. As you can see, this 1 gig file copy completes in 5 minutes 23 seconds. Now, as a final demo, I will set the FEC to high, which will raise its overhead to around 33%.
Saving and applying these settings won't restart the tunnel as FEC is already enabled. Starting the file copy again shows that the usable throughput in the tunnel is this time lower, but it also shows that packet loss is now almost completely removed from the tunnel and the latency within the tunnel is vastly improved. For file copies, this actually hinders the performance, but for traffic such as voice or video, where packet loss causes the artifacting or stutter, then this would prove to be a good solution. As you can see, the same 1 gig file takes an extra 30 seconds at 5 minutes and 53 seconds. This is the end of this video and I hope it proves useful. If you have any comments or requests for future videos, then please let us know. Thanks for watching and keep an eye out for other videos.